Hello, my Sock Universe. This is take three because I'm trying a new microphone and I hope the sound works. And for the first two, it didn't work. So I hope this one is acceptable. If it is, you're probably watching this video. So let's see. Wearing Scotland because I'm wearing Scotland. Uh, great game. And I was so happy. I mean, I think these two matches actually did deliver good action. Uh, maybe not as qualitatively high as the Nations League, but it was a really, really fun round especially if you like me chose the Czechs against Wales and Scotland against uh, Israel I had three other games that I was peeking onto and a little bit highlights but yeah um, I will talk here in this video about the games themselves if you want to know how the chances are and how the developing there will be a stats cast moving uh, very soon thereafter so yeah uh, that's the program for today regarding the World Cup qualifiers um, I think the, the I'm talking about the Nations League final uh, that will have probably only late uh, Monday or whatever. So I have to see how my schedule is going. Jump into the games. Uh, checks against Wales. Boy, this was a game that could have gone either way. Um, I always had the at the end. I always had the feeling that Wales probably was the slightly better team. Uh, they took the lead in the 36th minute in a game where, yeah, it was kind of back and forth. And uh, it has to be said, Wales playing without Bale. So well, uh, without that, the Talisman still pulling in a very, very solid performance. However, uh, once they got the lead, right from the kickoff, Pesce could equalize. Shot by Novak was parried by Ward. And I have to say, I don't think he needed to do it because that shot would have gone wide. Uh, but it's 1-1. One, one, and then right after half, uh, Ward implodes because a bad pass from Ramsey. He cannot control. I think he wanted to do with uh, cute with the outside of his foot. Didn't work. Goes to the post and he uh, scrambling back and it goes in, in to go 2 1 for the Czechs. And at that moment, I thought that Wales might crumble and the Czechs will get the win that I actually expected them to get. Nope. Nope. They had a few chances then, but in the end, it was Wales who got the equalizer through James. And then once they had the equalizer, Wales has slightly the upper hand, so as, as I said, I always felt that Wales a little bit more, but I think probably the draw is just, um, it is of course a good result for Wales, because now they are on track to finish in second place. Um, check still not to worry, because you will make the playoff, because you have the Nations League uh, spot more or less in the bag, so yeah. Uh, it's just that Wales will be seeded, and the Czech might be seeded, and Czechs for sure will not if they go by the Nations League spot. Uh, the Dutch get a win in Latvia with loads of empty possession and David Klaassen goal. Uh, Turkey, Norway. Horrible defensive mistakes by uh, Norway uh, uh, allowed Cenk's Unger to snatch the ball and Artur Koglu then getting the, the one nil lead very early, early on. But Norway didn't fall in that without Holland and Surlot and some other good players there. Uh, Torstveit gives them the equalizer and the second half it was more Norway so Turkey really in big trouble under new coach Stefan Kuntz uh, in group H didn't see any of these but Croatia still on track winning uh, against Cyprus uh, Russia also on track it will come down to those two with that win of Russia over Slovakia Slovenia with a win over Malta can actually go ahead of Slovakia but those two the Slovenians and Slovakia are out it's Croatia Russia for and there will be a head-to-head Germany scoring early, however, it's taken off by VAR. Lengthy review, and after this started, um, the confusion is used by Jonny Archie to give Romania a shock lead in Hamburg. Germany, uh, not super convincing, however, having many chances, wasting many chances. Uh, it took in the second half, I think it was then um, Gnabry who gets the goal. Uh, then Müller and others come on. Müller actually gets the winner after, I think it was a Kimmich corner, uh, header by Goretzka and uh, Müller, then it was a Bayern production, giving Germany a deserved win. Yesterday in the evening, a Swiss win, shock loss for Bulgaria to Lithuania, the Swiss win uh, over Northern Ireland. Referee, referee. Jamal Lewis is sent off with two yellow cards, where the second one in the 37th minutes for time wasting. I don't know, this is... Some really, really dodgy refereeing. I gotta, I gotta say, Switzerland having many chances, but it's two stoppage time goals. Goals, one of the first, one of the second, and Zuba and Fasnacht to give them the win. And it really points all towards the game between Italy and Switzerland, where probably 
yeah, with latest results, I think uh, Italy is fine with, with a draw. But that will be the big decider, and uh, Italy probably will have to dig deep there as well. Another big one was Finland and Ukraine, where Ukraine they finally get a win. Ukraine can win. Just let this sink in. They had only draws so far. Uh, some credible for us, some not so much. So, uh, like Kazakhstan. They were ruthless. They were um, more mature in many ways. Uh, Yamolenko giving them already the early goal. Puki then gets kind of a messy equalizer for Finland in the 29th, but just five minutes later, Yaremchuk uh, again scoring for Ukraine. Second half, Finland didn't have enough. In the, as I said, I think that Ukraine was the way more mature team there. Uh, Serbia get a big win at Luxembourg, which basically eliminates all the other teams, even though Ireland uh, wins over Azerbaijan. It's between Serbia and Portugal meeting in Portugal that will decide the fate. Um, Serbia will have to win, though, there. Sweden also on track. Big game against Spain coming up. Uh, gotta be said, and now Scotland is Israel. What a game that was. Ahead of the game, you know, I said when Israel beat Austria. Israel is one of the team. World, almost, world class up front and on the back very dodgy. And I thought that Scotland actually will take bad advantage there. No, not really, because uh, it was first uh, might of Israel, uh, Zahavi free kick, well, uh, maybe gives Israel early, and Scotland was reeling from that one. They were really rattled. However, then Ro Robinson uh, assists McGinn with a nice equalizer. I thought, yeah, this might give not a boost. I decided for the game. Full Hampton Park, that was for me the selling point for that game, uh, because I was really split between the Finland game and the Scotland game. Um, but yeah, I did not regret it at all. However, just have to get the eagle through through again. Munas de Boer gives them the lead, uh, gives Israel the lead again. Although there was a hands in the um, run-up, that deal wasn't seen by VAR. And I have to say, this referee, uh, I think it was Virginia from Poland, and I don't remember the team because of what he did with Laske Bruges. Uh, he was not in Scotland's favor at all because he would have given not a penalty. Fortunately, we have VAR, clear foul on the edge, so it needs to be a penalty. Linton Dyke steps up and puts it down the middle and it's saved. A very poor shot on the, on the first place. But I also have to say, while I was devastated because I wanted Scotland to win this one, I also have to say that uh, every penalty that's saved down the middle, I'm very, very happy about uh, because I want this trend to stop. To, to be so Marciano did good there. Uh, Scotland came out fighting in the second half. Linton Dyke gets an equalizer. was also taken off because of a alleged high boot. However, I fortunately look at the VAR because not only was Linton Dyke's boots not that high, it's all the defender was very, very low and he gets first to the ball. So I think it was the right call to have this goal stand. Uh, then the game kind of fizzled out a little bit. And I thought, yeah, this will end in a draw that will help neither. Maybe keep him Austria in play for the second spot. And then very, very low Scott McTominay gets the winner for Scotland in the 94th minute. Uh, and I actually was happy because I don't want Austria. I want Foda to be gone. Yeah, Austria gets a very nondescript win uh, against the Ferry Allies with a trip of Denmark looming. Denmark still now having conceded a goal in qualifying tells you everything. Uh, shock result also in Budapest where Albania get a very late win, 80th minute, and keep themselves in contention. Hungary more or less out of it, but it's now between Albania and Poland for the second spot England through. Um, that will, will be interesting, but Albania will need to, to win against Poland because Poland already played the games against England, whereas Albania still will have to play England. So, uh, just saying that. So, that was it from me. As I said, uh, with more numbers, the stats cast will be coming. Uh, give me a thumbs up, enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.